Hey guys, it is Lily here from Crafting Free Mental Health. I hope you are all having a fabulous week. So this is my Meet the Artist. I did this probably about two years ago now, maybe just over a year ago. But I thought I'd redo it on my iPad Pro, so practicing some digital art which I'm quite new at. And I thought you guys would like to see it. So as you can see now I've just been doing the sketch and it took me a little while of course the lips took me ages I really need to practice lips and I also really changed the um, canvas size for a little while so I decided to do myself floating with my Technicolor dream coat on because that's basically what I live in whenever I go out and all that and I really like how this bit turned out I really like how the sort of hand looks and how the flow of the coat looks and everything like that and also my hair So altogether this took me about eight hours I think seven to eight hours to do so even though it's quite quick in this video it took a very long time this is why this video is a little bit late because I also went to Brighton this weekend as it was my birthday last week which was amazing my boyfriend took me away which was just uh, dreamy <laughs> So now I didn't really know how I wanted to do the sort of meet the artist bit so I, I kind of experimented here as you can see and yeah I didn't really like that so I kind of changed it up and I really like how it kind of turned out in the end and yeah so then I went on to GIMP because I thought my handwriting wasn't really working so I got this um, I bought these fonts online and yeah I used them for my thumbnails and stuff like that I just got them off of a like website that sold fonts I think originally from D no not D -Fiend. I originally got them off of Defont I think it's called anyway so I started writing in what I didn't like and all that and what I do like uh, as you can see the MHA that does mean my hero academia just if you didn't know and then I wanted to do I looked at a lot of other people's uh, meet the artist stuff so I thought oh, I'll put in what's in my bag as well and draw that so I've kind of done a different approach of doing the screen capture here and sort of before it's just the procreate like it films everything anyway uh, but I thought I'd do a screen capture so you can see me picking out the paints and also sort of a close-up more than anything Annoyingly now actually, I drew this a mm, couple of days ago, this bag, and now I've just put pins on the front of it, so now it looks totally different. But this is like my work bag, and I take it everywhere, I just, a backpack is so handy to have, and it's like cat themed, and it has a little mouse keyring thing on it. It's originally from Primark, and it's, you know, falling apart, but it's done really well. But I really enjoyed kind of doing this, I did the sketching all in red. And then I kind of just slowly coloured it in and then uh, outlined it with sort of grey or whatever colour outside. I kind of starting to like that a bit more. I like the sort of not just outlining in black all the time. I did that with sort of my face. I did more of a darker sort of skin colour. And then on the outside I did like black and all that. And I think that turns out really nice. It's not too harsh. Yeah, my safety knife is a bit random. I use it at work all the time, so it's always in my bag. And um, thing is, at the end, like I didn't really put a title for what's in my bag, so it just kind of looks like I just really like safety knives, which I kind of do. They're handy to have. So as you'll see on my purse, my purse is, I love my purse, it's really cute and I love the colours of it and it's very me. The only issue is I got it off of eBay, so like it's either from, I think it's China but it says on it, love gave all that but still 
full of and, and it has like a little picture of a cat and it's kind of like uh what's that about <laughs> like is it meant to be crap is it cat it doesn't really make sense so now I'm just drawing my pencil case this is my new pencil case I used to have a panda one and yet again it's so cute I got it because the top bit slides down and it turns into like a pencil holder and it's so good and now we're on to my sketchbook which I've had for a year now so I've been doing a lot of like bigger sketches that are in my bigger sketchbooks and stuff like that so I haven't really been filling up my sketchbook even though it takes it takes ages to fill up a sketchbook those sort of sketchbooks anyway but it's just yeah it's <laughs> still there I really like the design of my keys, as you can see I have a lot, a lot of key rings. Uh, the bottom one, which is round, is actually a magic 8 ball. Uh, I've got a little love heart on there, a little um, palette, and I got my like blood donating thing I got, so it just says I'm a A+, plus, which is the only A+, plus I'm ever going to get. Anyway, I hope you like this video guys, and thank you for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe and leave down what you would put on your Meet the Artist if you did one. Thank you, love you.